create implementation project so as a part of your uh, implementation you may want to create a separate implementation project and all the offerings that you have configured will have an associated task for example um, you know related to financials procurement scm hcm and so on so you may have functional consultants and for that uh, you may want to create separate users and assign them uh, associated roles so once you have created those uh, implementation users and assign them the necessary roles the next step is to create the implementation project so once you create the implementation project then all the tasks related to each of the functional families or functional areas you may want to assign them according to the functional consultants responsibilities that they are taking up for example finance related tasks you may want to assign to the finance related consultants and SEM related tasks you want to assign to SEM related consultants and so on. So let's go into Fusion Cloud applications and I'm going to show you how you can create an implementation project and then you can assign those uh, tasks associated with implementation project to individual consultants. So here I am in Fusion Cloud applications and before we proceed ahead let's look at the uh, release and version of this particular application so we are presently on oracle fusion cloud applications 23d okay so i'm going to close that and now i'm going to create the implementation project so how would i do that i'm going to click on this particular task menu on the right hand side and then you can see something called as a hyperlink manage implementation project so i'm going to click on that one and here I'm going to click on a plus icon to create a new implementation project. So here I'm going to give some some name, some legible name to this implementation project. So let's say I would say something like demo implementation project. Okay, and no need to up, append. I think this is all fine. and implement, demo implementation project the same name in copied in capital and the description okay and it has been assigned to a user called as uh, steve sim start date you can give some start date maybe today uh, would be a good date if you are creating it today or maybe some other date if you like okay and uh, let's say if it allows me to create an implementation project on this particular date I, i'm not very sure but i'm just uh, trying okay right i'm going to click on next and let's see okay now i have to change the year as well so i'm going to go back i'm going to skip this as say 49 okay like this and the next step involves uh, selecting the offerings that you may want to implement as a part of your uh, implementation project so i'm going to click on uh, you know i want to implement enterprise contracts financials and within that you know you may want to go into sub families as well and then financials and you see again in financial what all you want to implement is uh, given over here so let's say i want to implement uh, supplier invoice processing expenses fixed assets and uh, customer invoice processing if it is coming from order management and uh, then I'll come down and whether I want to do intercompany revenue management collections and so on so I would say collections okay then I would say financial business intelligence analytics also a good area and uh, then I would say in manufacturing and supply chain i would say i want to implement uh, catalogs and okay here it gives a message saying that the functional area uh, catalog depends on another functional area to select it uh, its parent uh, manufacturing supply chain management okay so we got to select this first and then we can drill down further here and uh, here you also have maintenance management so i'm going to skip that 
okay and i'm going to select uh, procurement so i want to focus on for one area first and then we can drill down further so let's say i want to implement all of them so by default if you click on parent and leave this ideally it should have all selections but never mind i want to implement all including uh, purchasing supplier portal sourcing supplier qualification procurement contracts supplier spend classification and business intelligence analytics and uh, so both of them is quite important for reporting purposes and then say product management let's say what's there in product management i think it's uh, possibly related to you know all the item configurations and setups like product data hub <clears throat> excuse me so i'm going to select that and then inventory or item in organization items and uh, product information management if you want uh, you can select that one as well um, okay as a part of your uh, implementation i think that should be enough and i would say uh, choose this one as well okay so that's all i want to do it okay and uh, then all you have to do is save it and open the project uh, the implementation project that we are creating so i'm going to do that So what it is doing, it is it is saving all the configuration that we have just selected in terms of offerings and individual features within those offerings to the newly created implementation project. Once that is done, then we should be able to assign uh, the associated task within these offerings to uh, individual implementation users that we have created. Okay, so you see, now uh, all these uh, offerings uh, associated with functional areas have been selected to the implementation project that we have created okay and as you could see uh, at this point either you can click on done or you can click on assign task so let's try one okay i'm going to show you uh, one of the ways to assign the task so you know either you can drill down and find an individual task okay let's say this task it may be there right um, to assign you can select this particular task and uh, like this and you see presently it is not assigned to so you select this particular task and then you click on assign task and choose the user that we have just created so So I'm going to look for a username, which is okay, Steve Sim and hit the apply button, then hit the done button and then hit the save and close button. So that's how you go about, you know, uh, assigning uh, the, ta the task to individual implementation user and this is how you have to do it for all the remaining tasks as a part of this implementation again this is uh, sort of an optional one so in this case you know either you can assign to a specific person or uh, and give them authority to delegate okay or you can leave it as it is and as and as the, in the implementation progresses that time you can assign it okay so this is uh, a step that you should do ideally and try to focus it based on the project plan that you have uh, based on who will do what in terms of uh, the functional implementation so once you're done then you hit the done button to save uh, the changes to this okay so now you see this uh, demo implementation project uh, was created by Steve Sim and it was it is assigned to Steve Sim as a project manager but individual tasks you know you can see uh, presently it may not 
uh, be assigned to individual users but as and when you assign it uh, the individual task in this then those task uh, related ownership will be shown under this assigned to subheading 